Well, police are still looking for answers in the murder of Janessa Hartley. She's the 57-year-old woman who was shot while dropping off a friend in Sherwood Forest Tuesday night. NBC Local 33's Amber Smith takes a look now at how the neighborhood crime district there is playing an important role in this investigation. The safe neighborhood is now on high alert. Uh, we've never had a shooting like this in Sherwood Forest. 57-year-old Janessa Hartley was shot and killed Tuesday night. Investigators believe the attacker tried getting in her car. I spoke with a number of neighbors out here who didn't wish to speak on camera, but they said this incident is making them think twice about some of their regular routine habits. For people who didn't already have security cameras installed, they're thinking about making that a new addition to their home. And a lot of people say they used to go for walks around the neighborhood when they got home from work but they're now thinking twice about that as well. A number of homes in the area have surveillance cameras. Those videos could help police find the person responsible. We reached out to our Black Watch captains. We asked them to find all of the cameras on resident, residential homes in that uh, quadrant of Sherwood Forest. There will soon be even more surveillance in the neighborhood. Sherwood Forest will be the pilot program for the BRPD Real-Time Crime Center. Soon there will be cameras and license plate readers on all 19 entrances to the largest neighborhood in the parish. Once it's completely built, uh, it will be a great deterrent and great tool for, uh, for our residents. In the meantime, the Sherwood Forest Crime District will continue to have off-duty BRPD officers patrol the neighborhood and asks residents to send BRPD any information they may have that could lead to an arrest. We want to remind people no matter how minor you may think it is, please call us. That may be the one thing that investigators are, are looking for. For NBC Local 33, I'm Amber Smith. And police are asking nearby residents who may have surveillance video of Tuesday night to give Crime Stoppers a call at 344-STOP.